Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Tuesday the 18th of July, we've got some new mods and we've got some updates today. The map Bucks County PA by TNT Modding has had an update. Now it doesn't say whether it needs a new save game or not, however, there's a whole lot of stuff been added in, including new crops. We've got rye, millet, lavender, carrot and onion. Let's put in, in there. Uh, lavender oil pallets to the oil processing plant as well. Uh, added jam factory to the store. So you can do grape and strawberry jam. So grape jam and strawberry jam can be done. Uh, fixed forage harvester. Uh, what else was there? Uh, change fo uh, foliage density of wheat, barley, canola and oats. Adjusted the east map boundary and added new field in grass area at main farm so a fair bit added in on that it was more the crop types added in and the, the, the productions i was like oh that's pretty cool i like that um so yeah bucks county pa by tnt modding what else do we have oh yeah the lizard car trailer by cashdown 18 the mahindra 9000 series by manis modding the john deere neon sign by assassin tv have all had updates we start with this this is the leveling blade with weights this is by fenty and l hacker one two three two point one seven megabytes download three slots on console now i have checked this because it said leveling blade um, and in the description it says it's leveling blade with weights that have been added onto it and there's a few different configurations uh, you can have it in rusty so rusty bar um, and if you change the colour on that, it stays rusty if you've got the rusty option on. Various different weight options, you can have with or without a trailer hitch on it as well. So I thought I'd better check it, because it might work as a leveller for a silage clamp. Um, you do actually find it under weights, not under levellers. It didn't work as a leveller for silage clamps. And I thought, okay, the other thing to check is to go and check on a field, because sometimes levellers, like this, a flat bar or a scraper, can work as a cultivator. It doesn't do that either. It is just a weight. So just to clarify, um, although it says level, it, you know, it was a leveller, now it's a weight, I think is the best way of looking at it. If we go along to weights, just there. Slot count three comes down to one. It's only 300 to buy for the base variant. So we can go with m and then you can have mz so the m is without trailer hitch mz is with trailer hitch so we carry on so there's the m plus one then we go all the way up to m plus five then we go to mz plus one and then all the way up so it's just between whether you want it with the trailer hitch or not uh, then design standard or rusty now, like I say, if we go down to main colour and I change the main colour now to, say, red, nothing will change because I've got it on rusty. If you want to have the colour option, you need to put it onto standard. So that will change the back section. And the design colour will change the weights on the front. Those are your options. You go back up, then you go back to... Oh, no, sorry. Then we go into these. Then you've got spread weights. So these little suitcase weights that slide on. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And then no. You can just have the bar on its own if you want to. So these will raise and lower as a weight normally does, but that's it really. That's the leveling blade with weights by Fenty and L Hacker 123. Next we move to this. Custom fermenting. This is the custom fermenting silo by BK Mods. 0 0.97 megabytes download, nine slots on console, 10,000 to buy. You find it under build mode, under production, under factories. Just there, slot count will come down uh, to one. This you can put chaff, grass or hay in and it will change it into silage for you. It takes 800,000 litres of each product. So we go to production, manage production there. So chaff, hay and grass silage. It does 800,000 litres of each this side. I have already had it running very briefly. It's um, 48,000 cycles per month with a 100... I mean, you lose a little bit, a tiny bit, 100 to 95, so a few litres in the conversion process but it's quite rapid because the cycles per month so if I turn that on you see we've already jumped from 20,000 and it's just if I step out now if you look bottom right it's quick putting in it's done here taking out it's done here actually I didn't check to see where if any I think the lighting might be automatic. Didn't see a light switch. I suddenly thought, oh, there might be one of those 
control panels or something around the back. But it's not. So not too expensive, really nice running speed. Um, big capacities, so you can put a fair bit in there. I like that, that's cool. That's the custom fermenting silo by BK Mods. Next we've got this. This is the Flegel TMK373 by Patrick. 5.06 megabytes download, seven slots on console, 45,000 litre capacity. Very nice indeed. You'll find this, other tools and trailers. Just there, slot count will come down to one. 65 grand for the base model. We have got a few tire options. Now all these tire options, there, there are no choices within wheel setup. So we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Freudstein, back to Trelleborg. Like I said, no options within those. Then we've got decals on the side. We've got red or white. So when you go to main color, you can pick any of these. So obviously if I go for white, white on white, you can't see it. So you would just change your decal color, depending on what color you choose for your main color of the vehicle or the trailer and then the rim color anything on that palette license plate option on there as well so this doesn't have i did i did check because i thought i didn't know whether or not that that flap at the front if you're doing silage work whether that folds down or slides down there's no option for that to change we do have the option of a tip side back or tip side grain dot if we do tip side back nice smooth animation Nice speed on that as well, not too slow. Tip side grain door. Oh, that doesn't actually lift, does it? There was no animation on that. No, it just pulls out from the gap. Uh, lights. Indicators, reverse lights. Yeah. Nice trailer. 45,000 litre capacity by Patrick. Uh, next we've got, oh yeah, this. This is rather cool as well. Once bitten. Oh, sorry. This is the Lizard Bitten. This is by uh, Ed Ziacek. This is 3.49 megabytes download, five slots on console, three grand to buy. This is a pig food mixer. So a little static pig food mixer for your farm. This takes 2,000 litres of each crop type that you can put into it. I have got it running already, we've got 55 litres of pig food. So this will take um, corn, barley, wheat, oat, canola and soybean. So you can do corn, pig food, oat, pig food, canola, soybean, wheat. So there's no barley pig food because barley and wheat are the main constituent parts of all of the recipes on this. So look at corn pig food, it's corn with wheat and barley, oats, oats with wheat and barley, canola, canola with wheat and barley, soybean, with wheat and barley and the wheat one is just wheat and barley um i think probably said the worst recipe they all run at 480 cycles per month and it's 10 in if you look at 433 and then 343 433 442 it's like football um <laughs> configuration sitting on the pitch um to five so you're losing half of what you put in in your production but the wheat is seven and seven for five out so i guess that's probably the worst one but only requires the wheat and the barley i would have thought considering the wheat and barley are the main constituent parts on every production that the wheat and barley putting in would be a larger capacity but they're all 2000 liters and it's chugging away uh 59 I'll, I'll, I'll say this again i'll speed it up at the end haha <laughs> if i remember um and it should just put pig food pallets out so Putting in, you just back up close to this and you can tip into it. You can do it with buckets and anything like that. And this is only small amounts. If you're running a small farm, you can get yourself some pig food production going fairly quickly. Nice and inexpensive. This you'll find under build mode, productions, factories. Just there. Three grand, it's, it's cheap as chips as well to get some pig food going. Now, I did think what you could do is have a whole load of these, you know, because they're nice and cheap. Put three, four, five of them lined up. Have each one running all the cycles if you've got a load of wheat barley or whatever it might be fill them all up the only downside to doing that is because production chains you are limited to a certain amount of production chains within your gameplay now if you're nowhere near filling up your production chains then yeah absolutely go for it put in as many as you like um obviously just bear in mind because this runs as a production chain each one you place will be a production chain off that potential maximum that you can have and then your pallet should spawn out the front here. I, think I was going to check, but I've just remembered I was going to check. 
Because when it came to placing it, I just want to look top left to see if there was an option to change the colour. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just blue. Yeah, as far as I can tell, it's just blue. So there we go. At the end, I'll speed up and we'll get some pallets out. Um, they're all just like pick food boxes that should just sit on the front. So there you go. That's the Lizard Bittern by Ed Zajac. Which brings me on to the last of the month for today. And it's this. This is the Plastic Barrier Pack by FS Miner. 0.91 megabytes download. These are one slot each. Um, these can stop traffic. Obviously, I'm on Western Wilds. There's no road network. There's no traffic on here. But if you place these in the road, they will stop traffic. There are three different designs, as you can see. You've got this design here. You've got this design here. And this design here and as you can also see these strap down onto trailers so they're all tension strapped down the other great thing about these is they are liftable by hand so put them down wherever you want now if you run into these they will move they're a little bit like weebles which is pretty cool if <laughs> old school reference there weebles wobble but they never fall down so if you knock it knock it over it will come back and right itself and then you can place these as obstacles, as barriers, as warnings to people to not go too near things, whatever it might be. Or like I say, to stop traffic if you want to do that. You might put them around objects. Or, I mean, you can choose whatever you want to do with them. It's entirely up to you. Drop those down here. And what I like about these ones here is we can, if you look at one end, you've got a male and female end to these. So if we grab them, well, whilst they don't lock together in so much as they, they stay there, but you can... Do that with them. You can change the angle of them to a certain a degree. To make up barrier sets, if you want to do that. Round objects and things. I like it. And now these you will find under tools and miscellaneous. These are under build mode. There we go, plastic barriers. 60 for each. Slot cam will come, well, slot cam was one anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? So you've got design one, design two, design three, and back. And design one, main colour, anything on that palette at all. Uh, now I'm going to go back up because stripes and sides are only relevant to the next one. So this one, design two, main colour, as you can see, is the green. Stripes are the sections in between. And then on this one, you can do sides as well. So I want to change that. Oh, no, it wasn't this one. It was the last one. Um, that's why I need the last one as well. So that one will do your main colour and your stripes. And if we go to option three, there we go. So you've got the main colour, stripes in between, and the sides on this one, you can change the colour. So you can mix and match them, do whatever you want with them, whatever colour choices you feel like doing. I do like the fact these are liftable by hand. I love the fact they strap down. It makes them very versatile, very mobile. And then just... Yeah, whatever you want to do with them. I'm just thinking as well with the um, the emergency service pack sort of thing coming out on console soon. I know it's out in beta testing at the moment on PC. Um, and there's a few fire engine mods and stuff like that. Or, like I say, just for, to wrap around silos or, you know, you can funnel traffic or if you're doing a multiplayer or whatever you want to do. So that's the Plastic Barrier Pack by FS Miner. We do have a new map out today as well. We've got Herman Spolder by The Lort and Paddy. Um, I will be getting onto a map tour on that, but that might not be till late on this afternoon because I've got some things I need to do. But um, So that's it for the mods, with the map tour coming later on. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Before anyone has rushed off. Bear with me. There we go. I remembered. Just about at the end. So that's what your pick food pallets will look like when they come out. 1,000 litre pallets. If we go and check now, we should see, yeah, our wheat and barley have gone down far more than the other ones have because obviously that's the constituent part and all the other ones as well. Uh, just something to... Is that... I don't know, did I? Oh, out of space. All right. So on the um, custom fermenting silo, it's 800,000 litres on all of them. So your incoming materials and your outgoing. So we've already... How long were we running for? <laughs> Not long at all. We've already hit 800,000 litres um, of silage out of that production bit, so that's rapid. I mean, properly rapid. So anyway, yes, where was I at? I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.